Hi, everyone. I see Hi, Coco is already here. Hello, sis. Welcome. Hi, beautiful friends. And I'm going to give you guys a few minutes to come on in while we um, just make sure we've got everything prepped. I mean, I do, but how about you, Sean? Yeah, I go. Everything. <laughs> everything in front of me. So yeah, tonight fun. is going to be so fun. We're just yes. going to chat and all that yes. while we put on a whole lot of luxury. Yes. <laughs> A whole month. How was your week, Sean? It was pretty good. What about yours? I did a lot of busy work. I thought I was done with work, but I'm still working. So that, that's that's no fun. No. What about yours? What you what'd you do? I uh between working and resting my back, not much else. Okay. Resting your back? What what's going on? Um, I think I've aggravated my back injury. So um, mm -hmm. I might be going back under the knife. We'll see, huh? Yeah, it's not getting any better. Um, oh, no. So I'm probably going to have to just, you know, see my physical therapist and then see my back surgeon again and see if there's yeah. anything else we can do. But for now, I'm just taking it easy. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. Shanika, hi. Hi, Shoe Lady. Hi, Shanika. Hi. Welcome, ladies. Come on in and get settled. I have so much stuff here. <laughs> Because we're doing the full like, head to toe, get ready with me. Yeah. Zero to 100. So is your date night look, Vicky, like for nighttime or for afternoon date? Nighttime. How about yours? Okay. Um, I think it could be versatile for both, like day or night. Yeah. It just depends on what kind of guy. <laughs> well, Daphne, welcome. Welcome. Thanks for being here. And um, Sharice, how you doing? Let me get y'all on here. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, here. Hey, Hi, Sharice. How you doing? Hi, Elizabeth. Mm. You are the clay to Poe. Yeah, isn't that just the most gorgeous? All right. I love that foundation. It is cool. Trish, hello and welcome. Very glad you made it. Aw. So for those of you who are not familiar with my beautiful guest, this is Sean of Sean K Beauty. Hi, he is a beauty YouTuber who brings science to beauty. I'm going to let her tell you a little bit about her channel and what she likes to do. Well, I, I am passionate about skincare and like helping everyone who has questions about hyperpigmentation. Um, I've been dealing with 100 ladies so far since I started uh, YouTube with their skincare concerns. So um, I love makeup. Of course, I love luxury makeup, but I also am passionate about creating a healthy canvas and what products you need to use, but understanding what is the cause of your skincare condition before buying product, because that helps you to be more astute in your buying decisions. So yeah, that's what I do on my little, my little side of the internet. Hey, Chai, welcome. And uh, one of my favorite videos that you did, Maria, how you doing, sis? And Gloria, thank you for Hi, coming. Maria. So one of the videos that I really appreciated that you did was um, the Gucci Beauty video uh, when they came out with their foundation. Oh, yeah. So you kind of broke down what was in the foundation um, and compared it to a couple of other uh, foundations that have recently launched. And I love that video because it, it helps explain, you know, certain ingredients and where they are on the list determine the finish and the longevity of the foundation as well as how it's going to react to different skin types. Mm -hmm. And that is so helpful. That kind of information is so helpful to people and that something that is really unique for your channel because we talk about foundation a lot, you know, mm -hmm. us, us other gals on the internet talk about foundation, but from a consumer perspective and we don't have like that science background to really um, explain why things work the way they do. I think that's awesome. Thank you. And Sean has worked with Sean Takai in the past, um, as have I. So we thought it fitting to do a day and night look, starting with skincare and ending with something special to, um, you know, sort of chit chat and all that as we beautify ourselves tonight. So mm -hmm. if you'd like to follow along, you know, and you haven't done your skincare for the evening, um, that would be a great time to go gather your things. <laughs> and, um, we will have a link to the Shantakai website for you to shop. 
and I'm going to start, well, I'm going to start with skincare and um, tone. That's what I normally do in the beginning. Um, I'm using my Shiseido cotton to put a mystery toner on. This is something <laughs> that is debuting <laughs> soon with Shantikai. And uh, can't really talk about it too much, but I'm putting right. a toner on from Shantikai. <laughs> So I got a question for you, Vipi. Sure. What is the, why do you love Shantikai? What is it about the brand itself that makes you gravitate to it? Well, my initial attraction to Shantikai was makeup. I didn't, I didn't pay attention to the fact that they did skincare because the first thing I ever saw from them were the luminescent eye shades. And I said, well, hello packaging. Right. <laughs> you know, like that was the first thing I saw as a luxury beauty consumer. And I had heard about Shantikai from several channels that I really enjoy and decided that, um, you know, I wanted to try it based on their recommendations. So that's what really attracted me was just seeing, you know, the aesthetic. And yeah. then I gradually learned <clears throat> about the company and um, the fact that they did skincare. And then eventually um, they reached out to get some PR and I mean, <laughs> yes. And now I have this amazing skincare routine that has really right. changed my um my skin for the better yeah so yeah i love their i love their products all around that's good stuff and you how did you get into shantikai um I, the skincare definitely was one that i was interested in especially with the backbone of the brand being roses with the rose de may um really to help with anti-aging and also hydration but also fighting acne and uh preventing lipid peroxidation or the degradation of lipids in the skin, which we need uh, as we age, we lose lipids, we lose collagen. And they have thoughtfully put in like peptides and collagen boosters and your rose de may and your, you know, the mulberries and all these different uh, antioxidants that they've incorporated into their skincare. And even for those who are looking to lighten up the skin, like the Blanc Gardenia, which a lot of women are concerned about hyperpigmentation. Um, and especially women of color, we want to lighten up our skin, but we want to make sure that what we're buying, we're getting the most bang for our buck. If we're going to spend a premium for our skincare, we really want to see results. And I I have been using the Blanc Gardenia for a couple of months, and I'm really enjoying that. If you break out, it helps to minimize the appearance of the acne, and it also gets rid of the hyperpigmentation. So. That's why I really, really love the brand because the products do work. So I'm starting with the uh, Shantikai Rose de May Cream. This is for all skin types and it's very hydrating to the skin. A lot of peptides are in here. It's lightweight, so really great for the spring and the summer. And uh, if you want something heavier, if you have dry skin, I would go after the Gold Recovery Mask, which I use that at night. So my next step is just to hydrate my face with that rose water you were talking about. Oh, well, there you go. Nice fresh bottle we're breaking out. <laughs> Vicky, I saw you in a previous video spray that all over your face. I was like, oh, yeah, oh I'm buying me a bottle. Slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> Make it sense. Hey. And I did buy it too. If, I was like, oh, I see why she was having a good time with this. <laughs> Oh, oh um, Cherise says that her face is three to four shades darker than the rest of her. I think we do have a, like, I have, my face is definitely a shade darker than the rest of me. I have mm -hmm. seen where um, someone like the beautiful Ohema, her neck is actually darkest. And then her face mm -hmm. is more golden. And then her chest is like somewhere in the middle. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I would definitely go for that, um, the key tree, maybe. that gardenia. Yeah, Blanc Gardenia, right? I would definitely yes. try that out because what it does is it, it attacks the overproduction of, of melanin. Yeah, it doesn't lighten your existing or natural tone. Right. So that's um, that's okay. something I would definitely invest in. And I, if I'm not mistaken, <clears throat> um, I did see a promotion that's going on where if you spend two fifty, you get a full bottle of this girl right here for free. Oh, what? Yeah, I saw that today. I saw oh. it today on Instagram. So if you spend two fifty. You can get this $78 bottle of rose water for free 99. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I would say jump on it. 
right? <laughs> <laughs> and the blonde guy, I mean, the skincare is not cheap, you guys. Like, right. we're not even going to mince words here. It's not cheap, but it's, right. it's you get what you pay for. Yes. yes. One of the things that um, I was blessed to receive, um, it has become my absolute favorite product, is the Blue Light Serum. What a wonderful time for us to come across this, right? Yes. Yes. And it's enriched with hyaluronic acid. And I bet, um, tell me if I'm wrong, Dami Coco, your scars pop up whether or not you pick it, right? Because that's something that happens to me. Even if I leave the scar, even if I leave the pimple alone, the inflammation alone is enough to produce darkness. Hmm. So, I mean, if you can, you know, minimize the minimize the breakouts with their skincare and then treat <clears throat> the existing scars that you have. I mean, it just, see, confirmation. Um, it, it will just ultimately even out your skin. These, um, the mirror thing. Okay, this right here used to be pitch black like my hair. So if we can just imagine both sides of my cheeks, I used to have no choice but to color correct with my makeup and now, mm -hmm. I don't have to color correct if I don't want to. Oh, that's the good foundation is nice enough. So before I put that serum on, though, I'm going to start. I'm going to add the um, anti-pollution essence. Um, from what I understand, I think um, Scott had mentioned that this helps uh, uh, the next layers of product absorb better into your skin. Right. So I want to treat it like an essence. I'm going to use my rose water before I put on foundation. Give me that added hydration. And girl, oh, I meant to tell y'all, you could spend 250 on two skincare pieces. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, you say? it's not hard to do that. Like, don't think that you're gonna go in here and go, oh gee, I don't know what I'm gonna, gonna want. If you want that gardenia and you want um, that blue light serum, you probably already spent the 250. <laughs> and you'll get the right <laughs> You've met the threshold, exactly. my friend. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you're, it, a little goes a long way. Yes. This stuff is such high quality and your skin will thank you. Yes. So now I'm going to go in with that blue light serum so it can really seep into the skin. Just one drop. And I'm going to go in with the anti-pollution mattifying cream which adds more like a primer for me under the foundation. I think that's going to be my next move as well. Okay. I'm just using a little bit of this. Actually, I'm going to let that soak in for a sec. Yeah. And then I'm going to top it off with a little bit of this water flower fluid. It's an oil-free moisturizer, very lightweight. Um, so if you are somebody who is oily, I would recommend this lightweight yeah. moisturizer because it hydrates from the from the inside out once you put it on. And it does so in a gradual way so that you don't look oily at all. You'll think you didn't even do anything. Like you'll, you're gonna think like, I didn't probably, did I forget to put on moisturizer? But your skin will look perfect all day. I'm gonna take my mirror out of here as well. I also wanted to chime in with that too. When it comes to skincare, everything is maintenance, right? Like. Um, you know, some people want an overnight result, but skincare is what it is. It's cosmetics. And just like eating, we have to eat to maintain a healthy lifestyle to live. Uh, so does, you know, a, a skincare routine, it does necessitate healthy skin. So if you drop the ball, you'll start to see your skin regress. So you definitely want to keep up with your skincare routine and also your lifestyle, you know, exercise, eating, you know, leafy greens um, is also going to help the microbiomes of the gut to work with the microbiomes of the face with your good skincare to really give you that healthy, clear skin that you're looking for. Thank you for that, uh, Sean. There's a question from... Yami Coco, she asked it of me, but I think we can both answer this question. Okay. What are our top two skincare items? I would say Ooh. the uh, blue light serum because it's a hyaluronic serum. So mm -hmm. I highly recommend the blue light serum. 
And then I would say the water flower fluid because you can use anything else you want. You can use the cleansers and you can use any other serum that you'd like. This also has, um, if I'm remembering correctly, it has vitamin C, vitamin A, vitamin E, and B5 in it. So you get a whole lot of good stuff in this moisturizer here. So you could throw your serum on, protect your skin from the blue light from your mm -hmm. phone, from your laptops and tablets. And then you also have, um, and it has hyaluronic acid in it. So that's for hydration as well. And then this lightweight moisturizer is going to treat your skin from the inside out with all those fabulous vitamins. So those are the two products that I would recommend. How about you, Sean? Um, I would recommend because I think, I'm sorry, I don't know. The, the... Dami Coco. Dummy Coco. Um, I think you had mentioned about the hyperpigmentation. So definitely my top would be the uh, Blanc Gardenia for sure, just to help you. You can use that over your entire face because what I've realized with a lot of women, they complain that they don't like doing the spot treating. It's too tedious of a task. And they prefer to just put something over the entire face like a moisturizer. So the Blanc Gardenia, I would definitely suggest. And hydrating is absolutely the key. So I would say, I don't know what your skin type is, but I would definitely recommend the Rose de May. This would be my other top one because it's going to lock in that hydration for you. And it's also with that, the anti-aging properties that help to, you know, boost collagen and really help you with, you know, the lipid situation happening. So you don't lose lipids as you age. So that's why I recommend this one. So those are my top two. Um, next question is coming from Maria. Should we wear a moisturizer if we wear sunblock? Yes. Yes, you definitely do. Um, you know, some people, they would say, oh, I'm wearing cosmetics, so I don't need to wear sunblock. Or they say I'm wearing sunblock, so I don't need to wear a moisturizer. But if you think about um, scientists when they're in a lab, they're curating products specifically to the active ingredient doing what it needs to do, it was meaning you have a lot of padding around your SPF, which is not moisturizing. It is just to help to preserve the product and also fight against UV and UV, UVA and UVB rays. Whereas a moisturizer is more thought out because they're putting in ingredients that's actually going to do the hydrating for you. And if they're putting in peptides like in this one, or if they're putting in, I don't know, um, your roses to bring about hydration, they're thinking more along the lines of hydrating the skin as opposed to fighting UVA and UVB rays. So you definitely need both. Hopefully I answered that question. For you. I didn't lose you on that one. Uh-oh. And also, I wanted to, I, I can't remember the lady's name. Here too. Is that uh, Jamie Coco or Maria? Maria. When we see um, SPF in foundations, it's very minimal. It's not enough to protect you. In, in fact, most dermatologists will tell you that you need to use a dedicated SPF, at least a quarter size amount to put on the entire face because in a foundation, SPF is just not enough to give you that protection that you need. So that's just some added. I wanna go too scientific on us. We're supposed to be glam for the date. This is why I don't have a date, really. <laughs> there are still men out there. I are intimidated, y'all. Because we get it done. We get the things done that need to be done. So as much as they try to say they don't want a woman with brains, they need a woman with brains. And it's not about what you want. It's what you need. <laughs> that's right. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm, that's right. Oh, my goodness. Play right there. <laughs> Right. Okay. So I'm about to go ahead and with the uh, foundation, and I'm using the shade Suntan in the Future Skin Original okay. in the jar. And I'm using the mahogany uh, cushion foundation. Mm -hmm. It does not get tired. It does not. It it lurks around every corner, looking at you like like Shaq behind that tree. Like you can't no. see his big ass. <laughs> Y'all know the meme I'm talking about. Go ahead and comment. You know that meme I'm talking about with, with Shaq trying to act like he's hiding behind a tree. You can see all seven foot six of his behind behind that tree. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just 
gonna dot this on y'all and then use my BK Beauty 101. And that should be enough to get my whole face together right there. That was actually yeah. a lot. <laughs> Probably too much. I really love applying this cushion with a brush. Mm. I don't know why, but I... I think we're just so used to brushes in the West. Yeah. I think that's Because it. the concept of the cushion is really, you know, nice for travel. Right. And I mean, we use sponges. A lot of us do anyway. But if you're a brush user, I think it's hard to, to get, you know, crossover. Yeah. Because I, I too that. am a, an exclusive brush user. Hey. So I open up this cushion and dip my brush right into it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. But to have the option is nice still. Right. Yeah. So what I'm doing with suntan is matching my chest. As I mentioned, my um, face is about a shade lighter than the rest of me. I mean, a shade darker, sorry. Darker than the rest of me, so... I like suntan to kind of bring everything together. And speaking of sun, I haven't been getting much of it, so it's stuck inside laying in this bed. Thank goodness I got this king size bed before my back decided to betray me. Oh, no. <laughs> so I've been very comfortable <laughs> laid out in this gigantic bed that has taken up a quarter of my room. Oh, I love it, though. We should have did this a long time ago. Are you contouring, Vicky? Yes, I am going to contour, actually, with the cushion. Okay. Yeah, Which I'm going to use espresso. Use oh, got it. I'm going to do the same. I have espresso here. And um, I hope that you guys caught my uh, live demonstration with my cousin, Deneva. Yeah. Um, I used espresso on her and um, use suntan in the center of her face, kind of like um, concealer. And it went very, very well. So here is um, here is espresso. And I'm going to use an actual contour brush as soon as I remember where I put it. <laughs> there, no, that's not it. Here we go. So I'm going to use this. Hi, Lorraine. Hey, Lorraine. <laughs> Wild honey. How you doing, sis? Hooray. Future skin, mad orange on you. Talking about Cara Bella, MJ Bella? OMG, I'm zero to 100. Let's get it, ladies. <laughs> so there's espresso. Right. I it's feel like espresso super. is absolutely perfect for contour. I mean, yeah, it really is. It blends out so effortlessly. So it doesn't feel like, you know, it's not too much work. <laughs> amen, amen. Amen. There's no harsh lines there. Right. Just a natural blend. I really love this product. And the great thing about contouring is <laughs> during Thanksgiving and Christmas when you eat too much food. Yes. We can slim things down with a contour. <laughs> you have to fake them out at the dinner table because you know we had those family members. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, they go, "Oh, you gained weight," as like a greeting. Oh, oh. As a greeting. Yes. <laughs> not high. Not how you doing. Not I've missed you. You gained yes. weight. You look like you got bigger. And I'm like, and your potato salad is bland. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Get right in the gut with that one. Ooh, no, she didn't. Yes. Oh, That's really? why I never touch it. That's why it's always leftovers. Because you bland. <laughs> Not going. Right. I'm this moving on to concealing the eyes. And I'm using the real skin oh. in number nine. What I think Dami Coco is on the website looking and she's asking if um, mm -hmm. she should, she's grabbing the face cream or the face oil. Oh, the face cream, the face cream. I'm sorry, I didn't mention it. I think a lot of us have, everybody, like there's pandemic pounds. That's what we gonna call it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all have, cause I know yeah. I have, and that's probably why my back acting up now. It's like, girl, enough. <laughs> 
Oh. <laughs> Even my baby is put on some. Mama's almost 50 pounds. Nala. And she wants to be carried because she's three. <laughs> wow. Oh, thank you very much, Wild Honey. I'm using um for my base. Oh, crap. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. That was my laptop. I'm using Suntan in the Future Skin Foundation. And then to contour, I went ahead and grabbed Espresso from the um, cushion. From the cushion. <gasps> Bridget's here. Hey, girl. Hi. Oh, Hi. Okay. Back with her morning coffee. All right now. And settling into bed. Hillary, you yeah, can right. this is a pretty coffee. relaxing. Maybe it's a, you can drink coffee and go to bed if you settle in into bed. Wow. <laughs> so I'm gonna throw on a little concealer, the Real Skin Concealer in shade eight. I do need some brightening in the center. Ooh, of my let face. me see what eight, eight looks like, Mickey, because I use nine. Let's see what eight looks like. Yeah. Is that really bright? That's a good shade. Yeah. Okay, I might have to get that one too. Yeah, that's a good. Shade. I often end up buying two shades in um a yeah. highlight because I want something closer to my natural complexion, but then I also want just a little bit of brightening in the corners. Right. So that's why, um, for example, by Terry concealer, I bought five hundred and six hundred. And six hundred is a light, a little bit lighter than my skin tone, but close enough to where you don't even notice the difference. So I had to get five hundred, and five hundred is is even brighter than this. So <laughs> I mix the two and I get a perfect blend. It reminds me of that color reminds me of the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer in 4W. Oh, okay. Bright. I might have to take a peek at the CCO and see if it's there. What I realized. I got the, I got the Double Wear Foundation for 18 bucks. What? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. my goodness. At the CCO, the cosmetic company outlet. Oh, that has become the new thing. It has. For a lot of people. <laughs> it has taken over. Yeah, it has. <laughs> I'm noticing too, like less and less beauty gurus are color correcting now. They're just mm -hmm. using concealers. Did you notice that? I have. I think um, because especially when you get like a little further into the beauty biz, yeah. a lot of skincare companies reach out to you. And so yeah. they're probably just really taking care of their skin too. It's a a lot of us five years ago, you know, were, were using high coverage foundations what? to conceal skin issues. Right. Yeah, skincare is really important because it's not every time you want to wear makeup and when you take it off, you want to be confident with your skin. Yeah, for sure. After you take it off, Okay. So as you can see, even though that's like an emollient stick, right? Bring this it on. blends with no problem. Oh, that's pretty. That's I'm going to have to stop every few minutes, y'all, because it's so balmy in this room. Oh, no. I think it's my husband. His body heat. <laughs> <laughs> he eats cayenne pepper like it's, like it's parsley. You know, you just sprinkle it all over everything, right? He eats cayenne pepper like it's it's paprika. He eats cayenne pepper like it's salt. <laughs> like this man, wow. I, his whole body is hot. Every time he, every time I go to touch him at night, I'm like, you are blazing, dude. <laughs> Nothing can survive in there. <laughs> That's is why he's he never in sick. Is, <laughs> is he not feeling it? Does he have what? Does he not feel it? No, he doesn't. Oh. Wow. It cracks me up because I know that if I'm serving him something, it doesn't matter what, Derek, that's it. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. He'll cook something that has scotch bonnets in it and still put cayenne pepper on it. Wow. You're not tasting that food. <laughs> You're not tasting that food. You're just a masochist. <laughs> It's supposed to be a metabolism booster, though, so he must be in great shape. He is. Okay. You know, he's 39 next week. Oh, nice. And he does look quite good. 
Thank you. What are you gonna do? Because birth so getting ready for date night, maybe y'all can go out on a date tonight. I actually already have this gift over here because he's the type to not notice anything. I can hide it in plain sight. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I could put that thing right in his face so he wouldn't see it. <laughs> Hilarious. I'm like Solomon, look right there. He'd be like, oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. So yeah, I think I'm gonna um did I do all the complexion things? No, I didn't. I want a powder and I want a bronze. These two things are not shot well, these three things are not Shantakai items. So I won't be naming them since we're focusing on Shantakai. But you'll probably notice what they are. <laughs> uh oh. I'm moving on into eyes. I'm going to use the amethyst the um, eyeliner silk. from Shonda. That's is that the um, silk infused? Yes, and this is going to be pretty much like a base for my eyeshadow. Fine. Uh oh, I like to use, you know, products for multiple things. Oh, I love doing that too. Mm -hmm. The Earth one is my favorite. Oh, that's one. pretty. I'm not sweating. So this is going to be a nice base for shadow. But you all see that? It's more like a purple. I hope my lighting is, my lighting is working well. So when you get ready for date night, Vicky, do you think about the story that you want to tell? Like, like I want him to look into my eyes and see the love and passion, or I want him to look at my lips and do you, do you think of it like it like that? Well, I tend to focus a lot on my eyes because that's my husband's favorite feature of mine. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> I definitely tend to play up my eyes. I usually do that. I don't think I'd um told a story with my makeup but i do want to you know kind of coordinate not necessarily match my outfit and then play up my best features got it so do you like to tell a story with your makeup i would like to tell a story because right now i haven't dated in seven years friends well i need to tell a really great one <laughs> Lorraine loves the way you put your looks together. Oh, thank you, Lorraine. All right, now that I have patted down, I'm gonna put on my bronzer, which again is not a Chef's Kai item. I'm gonna go in with the sure you know what it is. rain shade. This is more like a purple. I'm gonna lay that on top of that. Um, amethyst pencil that I just used and I'm going to spray my brush because I do get more payoff with this when I spray the brush. Another tip wow. that I want to give you ladies is if you have a foundation that after you finish putting everything on, you have like some gray areas on your face, you could take a powder like the Prism Libre from Givenchy and use just the corrector colors. Just pump out, tap out the corrector colors, block off the other colors that are your skin shade. Use mm -hmm. that as like a powder corrector in the gray areas of your face. Cause I tend to get like that pregnancy beard. So I'll go in with my, let me show you what it is. For those of you who don't have this powder, I'll show you what it is. Cause I did, I literally did this the other day. That's why it's fresh on my mind. It's this here, <laughs> the Givenchy Prism Libre. This is shade six. Um, and it has four chambers, right? Four chambers with different shades in them. So you have a yellow one for brightening. You have a, um, a sort of reddish coral for correcting. You have like a medium brown and then you have the actual skin shade brown. So mm -hmm. when you pump them all out, you get everything, right? But if you just wanted 
this, for example, block the other ones, pump out the red, and then dust it over your gray areas, and it will not make your that area gray. It will just correct that area. Nice. Givenchy makes some really great products, especially their, I love their lipsticks too, their matte lipsticks. Mm -hmm. I think they're slept on. Yeah, nobody really talks about them as much. Hey, life on a budget. It's time to get back in the dating game, John. <laughs> Thank you. You're beautiful. You're too beautiful I'm, to be I'm hiding. Try, I'm trying. I agree. I'm like, she's so damn fun. I'm trying. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So now that I have pretty much all my powder products on, um, I'm going to start with the eyes as well. I'm going to get into the eyes. So yeah. for um, my two liners that I'm going to be using for the... Um, I look, I have Earth and um, Black Forest, which is a green. Oh, that's so pretty. Black Forest is amazing. Yeah. And then Earth is a um, cool tone brown. I'm going to be using that on my lips too later on. I tend to do a lot with my eyes. <laughs> I'm going to bring down my little <laughs> I really love playing up my eyes. So I'm going to do, you know, the most. Oh. I mean, I especially, especially with us wearing masks. I bought this palette here. Oh, that's pretty. The Chantecai, called, it's called Ma Palette. And it has, I, I haven't filled it up yet necessarily, but I do have five single shadows in here. And I'm going to be that's using beautiful. two of them. Um, this this one here is the uh, Dark Topaz. I believe I listed it in the description box already. And then this one here is Lapis or Lapis. And so I will be combining them with one shade from each of these beauties. There you go. Yes, we've got the Hummingbird Warm Quartet and the um, Butterfly Quartet from this year's collection for spring summer. Ah, thank you, Bridget. I'm gonna try, girl, I'm gonna try my best. So before I put the liner on, I'm gonna get into the eyes. Where did I put my eyes? My stuff is right over here. I am using Joy, which is the cheek shade, and I'm just using this as a transition color right above this purple, just a little bit, just to give me a little bit of a wash of color and to buff out any harsh edges. How was everybody's Saturday? What did y'all do today? Is it Saturday? It's Saturday, right? Yeah. I've been traveling so much, y'all. Trust me, I get it. <laughs> I'm running together. Traveling for work just has me lost. It's such a beautiful pink shade. Detail has on there. Mm -hmm. Take a shader. And I'm going to go in with the, the Stilo Ultra Slim. This is in the shade Black. And I'm just going to give me a wing. Oh, yeah, that's the liquid liner. Mm -hmm. It's so good. So I'm just washing this over my lid, that blue, because I'm going to go on top of it with a glittery blue. So I don't want too much of it on there because it does mattify your lid. So here in the Hummingbird palette, I'm going to be using this shade on the majority of the lid. And I'm just going to use my finger. You get more payoff with the with using your fingers as opposed to the brush. Yeah, way more payoff. Okay, got it. And I'm just dabbing it into my crease because if you do that on purpose, then it won't happen on accident. Mm -hmm. I'm giving me quite a bit of wing and then I'm going to fill in my waterline. Get 
Are you wearing falsies, uh, Vicky? What was that? Are you going to wear falsies? Oh, or... yeah. Of course I am. Okay. <laughs> okay. Kid, I just got a special delivery. Of course I am. Oh, you got them. <laughs> I did. All right. So let me just. Oh, goodness. It is blazing in this room. But it's, listen, I am getting no transfer. You see this? Wow. Even though I'm wiping the sweat off, no transfer. Nice. All right. So one more little sparkly goodie. And I'm going to use um, a brush for this one because I want to target it. It's going to be a pencil. I'll be right back. I just left my color. Thank you. I'm going to be using this flat shader from Sephora. Oh, from ABH. I didn't realize I had brushes from ABH. But yeah, I'm going to go in with that special shade right there. The color shifting fabulosity in the butterfly quartet. Oh, that color is pretty, Vicky. I have a feeling I'm going to have his attention. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Well, I have a little sister or brother. Let's go shopping, Big Daddy. <laughs> All right. Now I'm bringing it along the lower lash line as well. And then we're gonna go in with all that that pretty goodness, right? So I'm gonna do the green on the lower lash line, in the waterline as well as like kind of bringing it down so I can smoke it out. Where's my concealer brush? Aha. All right, I'm going in with mascara. This is the Full Steel Mascara. This one has growth peptides in it. So if you use it three weeks in a row, it's gonna grow your lashes. So I'm prepping for falsies, but I do like using this to know that my natural lashes are growing even while I'm wearing falsies. Yes. I'm gonna use a little bit of earth on my upper lash line just to give me some depth um, in preparation for those falsies. Just in the corner there. I'm taking this to the bottom water line. What are you using for blush, Vicky? I am using the uh, ge the gelé. to do generally is to get that part done before yeah. before I do my mascara and stuff. So I'm gonna finish the cheeks. And I'm gonna take I'm gonna take yeah, the shade like vibrant. Yeah. That's your shade too? Yes. I there love this. I love it. I'm gonna put a nice it's healthy pink size just... drop on my hand. Yeah, I just put a little bit on my finger and just place it on the cheeks. And then I blend it out. And I try to uh position everything going towards my ear because it gives a more of a lifted look mm -hmm. as opposed to you know just going in circular motions on the cheeks because it pulls the face down and it makes you look a little bit makes you look chubby so if you can take everything upward it it really does look like you've had a facelift without paying the money It's hiding in plain sight. I know it is. I'm looking for my concealer, and I know uh -oh. it's like right in my face. <laughs> I just wanted to touch up a little. Aha! Here it is, right in my face. 
I'm going on top of that uh, vibrant shade with Joy, which is this beautiful pink shade. Let's intensify it just a little bit more. Not a little bit, just keeping that outward. very intentionally brightening right there because I just want to call more attention to my eyes. There you go, Becky. You're going out tonight, Becky. I think you are. I might have to. Yeah, we have brightened the girl up. All right, friends, I'm moving on to lips. I'm using the Lip Definer in Chic Chic. Spell C H I C. So I'm thinking it's chic. Beautiful burgundy shade. I'm going to line my lips with earth. I can't wait to see your brow on. This is just a look at this color. It's just a beautiful. Oh yeah, I remember, didn't you put that on in your last shot to Kai video? Yes, it's and I so loved it. I was like, I need to see even more dark lips, girl. So gorgeous. Like you can even just wear this by itself and just put on the gloss. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be adding one of the lip crystals in rose quartz to the earth liner. Nice. And I'm using rock rose, which is one of the lip fails. This is a beautiful, I want to say like a burgundy kind of shade. But it, should look, it should look really nice with this lip liner. Yeah. And the Scott Barnes technique is to take the bullet towards the lip line upward to make your lip get fuller. I was trying to do that. I was trying to follow him all last night. Lock Maiden, hello. Lee Joe, how you doing, sis? I didn't see you come in earlier, Blue, but nice to see you. And Christiane is here as well. Look at these eyes prepped for the falsies. Because I got a fresh pair of chandeliers. <laughs> Y'all, her link is always in my description box, too. Just Aww, saying. That's the key. Wait till y'all see these lashes. I'm going to wait for you, Vicky, for lashes, too. Finally got the coveted opulence. Oh, I've got opulence, too. <laughs> I pulled that one out, too. I got to trim those. Oh, yeah. I didn't even want to open them yet. Yes. Friends, definitely, if you're wearing falsies, trim your lashes. I've seen people try to put them on right out of the box. You don't uh, want to do muffin top on your lashes. That's not it. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's not <laughs> it's not in every eye. <laughs> You've got to cut them to your specific eye length. Usually, if it's like a standard size lash, I cut off two yeah. little notches, and that works perfect for me because I do have small eyes. Yep, I'm wearing opulence as well, like Vicky. Grabbing my glue and my applicator. Yes, get it. If you have nails, then definitely use tweezers. If your nails are short, you could definitely use your fingers. It's way in there. Oh my God. I'm going to have to use my tweezers. I can't reach mine. Yeah. Sure. Just wait for the glue to get tacky after you put them, put them on the rib of the lash. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know. No. That would be a different video. I know, right? <laughs> oh, for bronzer, I used Charlotte. <laughs> Daphne said, wherever Vicky's going, I want to go to. <laughs> oh, I love it. I 
think since these are um, a different type of bundle, I'm gonna just trim one. That should be perfect. I'm gonna try it on real quick just to make sure. Yes. Yeah. And the key when putting them on is literally to look down just to make sure you can match these right up against your natural lash line. Yeah, that's right. I used to suffer from um, not knowing how to put my lashes on. And I watched a video, and I'll never forget it, from um, Desi Parkins. I don't know if you guys oh, know who yeah. she is. The queen of Halloween makeup, <laughs> first of all. That woman is so talented. Yeah, she um, is. And congratulations to her on her baby. So I didn't know initially that you had to wait for the glue to dry a little bit. I didn't know that. So here I go slipping and sliding all over my damn lid <laughs> and hating lashes and wondering why people put them on so easy. You know, what am I doing wrong? And then I watched that video and she, that was it. That was the light bulb. Aha moment for go. me. Wait for that sucker to get tacky. Yes. Don't put it on right away. Yeah, wait for That's it all I need. Too. Well, the look down thing too is really helpful because then your lashes aren't floating. Right. I want to. Oh, that's a great question. She's um, referring to the different um, styles of your lashes. Side by side, the difference between classic charm and opulence. Yeah, I got Okay. Can you DM me at um, Junkie Beauty? I can send you the photo because I don't have like all of them right near me. The classic charm is very, very light. I gotta show you guys the other um, the other style I received so graciously from my dear friend here. Um, the shade, I mean the shade, the style Lady Grace. These are so cute for every day. Oh, they're King Slap's favorite. These are like literally a bomb everyday lash and they remind me so much of a style that I currently use as an everyday lash. So I'm like, I'm trying to just be exclusive. Okay, I'm just trying to just use chandeliers. You never have to ask which one I got on. You can just know <laughs> that they are chandeliers. Oh my goodness. Thanks, Vicky. Love me. Oh, I can't get them on. Do you, they feel uncomfortable? May, um, are they like kind of irritating your eyes when you blink? Okay, no. Because if that's the case, then you might need to trim a little more. Because I've had that happen before. And I had put all this effort in my eye look and then my eyes started watering because the corner was kind of itching. Um, I don't know if that's the issue that you're having, Chai, but it might be that you have to trim it like bluntly. Yeah, or like how far in are you? Because sometimes it starts poking when you bring it too close into the tear duct. Mm -hmm. Definitely trimming on the outer. Some of them have that, mm -hmm. and, and even you could see it here, there's like a little extra piece of band at the edge. You might just want to trim that bit. Yeah. Sometimes I've done that as well. Wow, this is giving mermaid, this eye look. I love it. This is really going to stand out with um, our special surprise. <laughs> And you want to, um, when you put on your lashes, you want to use either the tweezers or your fingers to just kind of clamp your natural lashes onto the falsies so no one can see what's happening underneath the actual lash, the falsies. I want to thank each and every one of y'all, by the way, for um, the testimonials. Y'all are the best. I ended up exceeding my goal of 100 testimonials. So thank oh, you all nice. so much. I left my testimonial. Y'all are the bestest. So when will you know something, Vicki? Do they? Sometime next week, I believe. Um, maybe the 15th. Okay. Um, in order to um, you know, advance to the next round, they're gonna let us know. And I have text notifications and emails on. Nice. <laughs> I'm like anxious. Uh, so this is what opulence is giving y'all. It's so dramatic. Mm -hmm. Ooh, pretty. 
I think you're going out tonight. I, I'm gonna even. I'm gonna just walk to the porch. <laughs> okay. I don't care, man. <laughs> I'm gonna have to walk and strut my stuff on that porch. Wait, man, where did all the lash go? Hold up now. Oh, this is it. I'm so silly. No, this isn't it. This isn't it. I am. You know what? Let me tidy up. Because this is what happens when I have such a mess. I need to tidy up and then I can see exactly. See, here we go. Found it. <laughs> Ooh, I am goofy. Okay, bring the lighting over a little bit. Well, I am done. I'm just going to seal off this look with a little bit of rose water. And um, please, I, I forgot to tell you guys uh, that um, Shanta Kai does afterpay. So again, you can do that two fifty, get your free rose water, and break up the payments into four. Bam! <laughs> you just a happy dance. You got to do a jig. You got to. Yeah, yep. <laughs> that is amazing. The porch still counts. It's going out <laughs> in these Rona times. Oh. <laughs> How do you, I care for my falsies? That's a wonderful question. As a matter of fact, let me pull out my answer. Yeah, I use a, um, a lash cleaning kit that I bought from another amazing YouTuber named um, Beauty by Chi Chi. I got this little lash kit for $11. Um, it comes with the Beauty by Chi Chi lash um, cleaning foam. You get a spoolie to, you know, spool through the lashes make sure they get nice and clean and then there's a um a little brush that you can use to brush off the like scrub off the glue and then you let them dry them air dry and then you put them back in your lash box right and one of the things too is not to you know if you want a more dramatic look just go for a dramatic lash as opposed to putting mascara on mink lashes because one they're not cheap and two, mascara really does compromise the longevity of the lash. So that's a, a, another thing, Hillary, to think about as well when you're using falsies, especially expensive mink lashes, because it is it is mink hair. It is hair. So when you put mascara on it, it's, it's really going to compromise the longevity of it. And it looks like uh, Cherise bought Rose Boys hey, on the Sephora Cherise. sale. I love Givenchy lipsticks and I'm looking at my pretty little babies up here with their custom caps on. Yes. Y'all got to get a custom cap for your girl. Get get a custom cap for your rose boys. Let her shine. They got some pretty leather ones now that are really bomb. I highly recommend. And they're only 15 bucks. You can get 20% off $15, girl. Yes. <laughs> Put a new outfit on. Her. Make her feel special. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Dress up your lipstick. I love that. I love it. Ever since Carolina Herrera did these custom lipsticks, I have been all about customizing my lipstick. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Luxury makeup is just so, it's just another experience than drugstore, honestly. If you make putting on lashes seem so easy. Who, oh, me? Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like, I don't know why. Shaking like a leaf. Trying to make sure I don't put my eye out. Yeah, the lashes with the eyeshadow combo looks really nice on you. I've seen so many girls rocking these opulence, and I am so glad to finally have them. They are so fabulous. Yes. Oh, we Alicia from Kiki Kinky Sweat. She just asked me to send her those along with Lady Grace. Lady Grace just happens to be her favorite. Not my wallet has fallen. Lady Sarah is my favorite for the very dramatic look. <laughs> yeah. The Lady Sarahs are my ace in the hole. Those are the, that's the first pair I had from you. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You made me wear them. 
I love it. Let me just pinch that one a little bit more. Put it on. Yeah, there we go. Perfecto. All right. More chocolate. Glamorous. We have got beads, honey. Love it. There we go. Mm. Well, listen, I'm going to wipe off my hands with all these swatches. <laughs> And we are finished with the makeup and skincare. Yeah. What's next, Sean? Outfits. <laughs> Our date night outfits. What is a date without a beautiful outfit? Right. All right. Let me get my swoop on. Yeah, put the swoop on. Get the swoop going. And now, ladies and gents, let's rise. Yes, I've got to move my chair back. All right. Well, it's a, it's an unveil, friends. It's not we that kind of show. Dresses. Okay? The children don't need to leave the room. Hopefully, we don't get censored for this. But <laughs> we have on our date night outfits, and I'm wearing an Imani Exchange tube dress. Vicky, what are you wearing? I'm wearing a, I believe it's a BCG plus. Nice. With a little slit arms. And a embellished, embellished edge. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, it's giving a lot. <laughs> it's giving a lot of cute. I've got a lot, a lot of blingage happening. Love it. And, and all for the your, information in the description box for I you. love that red dress. And I'm also going to wear a Amani Exchange. Well, this is Emporio Amani, a velvet jacket from him. I just drape this over my shoulders like this. He's so damn um, fine. I just grab a nice little clutch like this. And Glad to the bone. Can't, mm -hmm. I can't even deal. We are ready for our date night, ladies. <laughs> we are ready. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Was uh, so? I'm not going anywhere, but Alita was good to get dressed for date night. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go beyond the porch. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, you can wake up soon. Before, Peggy. Husband wakes up soon. I'll see where he wants to take me. <laughs> well, you guys, that yes. is it for this video. We had yes. so much fun with y'all, and yay, we did it in an hour. Yay! Okay, skin, makeup, and outfit. Yes. Thank you all for like hanging with us. Yeah, it, and I'm nice. so glad that we were able to answer some of your questions yes. and give you some advice and hip you to that sale <laughs> or yes. that pr promotion, I should say, um, for the Rose de Mai spray. Let's give ourselves one more glamorous spritz, shall we? Yes. Okay. More spray. Right, here we go. Oh, that sounds like you feel glam. You have to have one of these, at least one. Even if you got the travel size, just get the travel size one. I think that one is more reasonable. It's like $35, right, Vicky? I don't know. <laughs> I, think, I think it's it's about $35 for the small one. Ain't nothing like free, though. Yeah, so, free is better. Free is better. And you can break it up into four payments. I'm trying to tell you something, y'all. Get hip to it. <laughs> but listen. All the information you need is in our in the description box of this video. I want to thank Sean again for coming through thank and giving you. us, you know, coming up with this amazing idea. She did the thumbnail for us. Like, she really put in some work. So do go to subscribe to her channel. I already have it linked for you. You got to go do the dang thing. Make sure you subscribe to her channel because she is full of knowledge, full of beauty, and she even does tutorials. Anything else? Anything you want to say, Miss Sean? Thank you all for having me. I'm just blessed to be on your channel, Vicky. Thank you for having me too. And listen, I like it. I said, in the description box, <laughs> click that damn link. I'm trying to tell you something. Because these are the best lashes, period. Thank you. <laughs> all right, you guys. Thank you so much again. If you're not yet a JB, I don't know what you're doing sitting here not subscribing. It doesn't make any sense. So go ahead and click the subscribe button. Go turn from red to gray and then make sure you're JB. I love you guys. And I will see you tomorrow, as a matter of fact. Bye. A reminder because I've got a very special collaboration again. I'm just going with all my faves. Love <laughs> it. All right, you guys, good night. Night. <laughs> Bye.